Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So this video was being requested a lot by you guys. So I tried making a video that would clear most of your doubts regarding the Ninja tools. So this first video is gonna have the first part, which is what tools you should get, what tools you should make, and stuff like that. And I'm gonna release a second video, which is gonna be about what tools to use on particular shinobis, your main shinobis, defenders, etc. So I'm gonna make two videos because it would be very long if I cover both of them in one video. So let's get started. First of all, the old TAM tools like Fest and Kunai are not that good anymore because we have even better tools. So only use them if you don't have the tools I am about to mention in the video. So first category is Roundup tools. Always get Roundup tools no matter what. I have grinded every single Roundup tool that has been released till now regardless of if I have the kit or not of that shinobi. For example, I don't have KCM Naruto Jutsu so I didn't summon on him and accidentally sold his shop jutsus but I still got the tool and the frogs from roundup because someday he will get a rekit and the tool is gonna be really useful or maybe I will get his jutsu somehow in the future so always grind the roundup tool no matter if you have the shinobi or not I put out a guide for roundup every time it gets released how to get maximum points so if you even if you don't have a roundup special shinobi you can take help from those guide videos and grind the roundup and roundup remains for almost a month which is literally more than enough for you to get the tool second category is special tools from summons and other missions so for example this time we got nagato tool from panel mission and i'm sure everyone already has it and when nagato gets a rekit it's gonna be really useful maybe in upcoming future we will keep getting tools like that from panel missions and stuff and the other one is step up summon tool uh, this one is optional which i only have one for hokage naruto which you get from the full step up summon and which turns out to be really useful now not everyone can get this tool that's why i said it's optional but if you have enough shinobites and the shinobi is really great then I always go for this tool also there is sometimes a special tool banner like scarlet ninja blade this jade necklace senbon which gives good start so if you can afford to get that tool, I recommend summoning on the banner and getting the tool because they are very useful in the long run. The third category is the new TAM tools. Now some of you might think that these are not that great but these are going to be really useful in SAM because along with the 8% power and 4% critical boost, it also has like 920 attack which is definitely better than the kunais. So this is really going to be useful in SAM. The Hauri on the other hand if had double defense instead of double HP, it would be better. But if you get this, don't sell it, just keep it, it is still better than the old vest. Sadly I haven't even got a single one till now, so still hoping for at least one or two shurikens. Bandai will release more tools with different jutsus, like jutsu nature boost, like kunai and vest, so yeah. Fourth and final category as of now is the 5 star factory tools. Now there are a lot of 5 star factory tools, but only some of them are worth making. First are the nature power tools. So these are a better version of kunais, there are all 5 nature tools, lunge, release, manipulate, annihilation, impact, so try to make at least 3 or 4 of each nature. Next time you get the ninja tool material grinding mission, grind as much as possible and make these tools. They are very good for Sam and high damaging defenders like Kabuto, Kankuro because along with the attack they also give good nature power boost, so yeah. Second, the rings. Now there are a lot of ring tools, uh, but only selected ones are worth making. Among these rings, my best choices are White Ring Replica and Three Ring Replica. White Ring Replica gives you attack plus CP and some resistance to lunge, which is very ideal for a shinobi who needs a lot of CP, for example DMS Kakashi. Try to have at least 4 or 5 of these with good stats, that is at least 100 plus CP and 600 plus attack. Three Ring Replica is ideal for defense shinobis and support units because it gives high defense plus attack along with release resistance which helps reducing the damage from some common jutsus like Itachi version 3 shuriken, 6 path naruto lava shuriken they are all released so if you provide 3 ring replicas to your defenders and supports so they might sustain the damage from the shurikens and other released jutsus. 
this can also be used on your main shinobi if they don't face any cp issues so try and make at least 10 of these with at least decent stats that is 600 plus defense and 600 plus attack now third are tail charms so there are many choices in these as well but i would recommend making three tails charm and eight tails charm three tails charms give you attack plus defense and along with impact resistance and eight tails charm gives you attack plus hp along with annihilation resistance so this should be your at least priority after making the above ones so you can also make like three four of these as well in your list the fourth category are the trinket tools now these are what we call balance tool which have a lot of stats so go for those with attack and defense or attack and hp now there are a lot of uh, trinkets here but in my opinion there are two very useful tools in these katsuyu trinket and two tails trinket which gives you seal resistance now if you have Gara version 2 full kit with the ultimate I would really recommend making these tools with good amount of seal resistance and equip on Gara. If you have the roundup tool in the slot add the seal resistance as well. So if you are able to give him like 60% seal resistance he is gonna be very dangerous for attackers because if he does not get sealed then he is just gonna become even more deadly. So use this suggestion only if you have his full kit with the ultimate. So make some uh, Kasu trinket and two tails trinket and get some good amount of seal resistance and put it on Gara and see the magic yourself. Now fifth are the Jutsu scroll tools which are introduced this time. Now these are a little better version of Jutsu nature tools only if you are able to get good stats. So far no luck for me. If you get like 500 attack and 12% above power then it's gonna be very useful in Sam. Keep in mind the materials to make these tools are available during Tam so grind and keep making and keep the ones which are good enough every scroll gives different jutsu nature power so choose which suits your shinobis now sixth are the samurai helmets these are again a better version of resistance tool only if you are able to get decent stats out of them so these are going to be very useful for your defenders in the long run so keep grinding tam to get materials and keep making them every helmet gives different jutsu nature resistance so choose the ones which will do good against top tier mains jutsus and ultimates like you can make release resistance, annihilation resistance and stuff. Now to get these mentioned tools, you have to get the materials which you can get from daily ninja tools materials searching mission stage 3. Always check in the factory what materials you need and grind them accordingly in the mission. And if you have insta achieved then it's just a click away. Also Saturday and Sunday we get combined mission for all the materials. Also we get special mission sometimes for these material grinding so grind those even if you have to use your shinobites to refill your LP because the 5 star tools are really worth it. So one more advice for new players only dismantle the low stat tools when you have sufficient amount of better tools with you. For example if you don't have already good 3 ring replicas or white ring replicas with you then the, even the low stat ones are good for you so only sell when you have enough good ones with you. So guys that was for the tool guide video which is the part 1 and I'm gonna make part 2 in another video so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys find the video useful. If you did drop down a like and comment and also if you are new subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on social medias links are in description. Stay home stay safe I'll see you next time. Sayonara.